We are going to be doing a lot of planting today. I hope you're ready. It's going to be fun. I'm Holly. Drew here. I'm Jerry. Starting our third succession of planting and we are on to we are putting in our onions today and our spinach in the ground and our beets and then we'll be covering them up and actually i will actually be working during the winter which i'm not that excited about just to be honest <laughs> It's best to take them out, separate them up here, so as you're planting them, you're not playing that separation game. That's kind of what yeah, that's beets what will not. Beets and onions. They, I mean, they beets will not grow next to another one. Period. Beets and beets. It, it has to have one root per hoe. They that's compete totally against each other. He's got tomatoes that are this tall oh, already, and she oh, doesn't yeah. know what to do with them. What was it? Tomato plants that are like mm -hmm. almost two feet tall already. And she's like, it's too soon to put them in. But you have to get them in. It's pretty much a waste. Really, the thing you could do is if you had a, a like a, made a little hot house around them outside, and oh, then yeah. as it the sort of it, like I did for my dogs yeah. on my back. But porch. by the time they get going, spring gets here, they're going to be four. Yeah, all their energy spent. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they spent their energy. You spent. know, or every or you know. The, I mean, the, I don't know. Maybe they'll make it. Maybe they, they would. I, I wouldn't so. know. I know that in the heat it won't. Remember, we tried it in the heat. Yeah, they get by the time by the time that Tom got here, they could do something. It was too late. It's it too late. It'd already spent its whole time just trying to survive the heat. Trying to fight. Oh, yeah, 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 trying to fight. Yeah, so that makes sense. Spent the energy. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's early. This is the beginning of February. It started yesterday, the 10th of February, and we got some stuff put in the ground. So we we tried to make it, we've tried to make it through the summer, and we have realized that Texas heat is, it's impossible. So we decided this year we'd try something different. This year, we're going to be trying to make it through the winter and hit the spring market. So let's see if we can do it. Here I have beets. We put those in yesterday. These are actually from November. These were my holdovers that I held because it was just too hot during last year to, to deal with it. So we just held them over and we held those and the spinach and the carrot and a bunch of the carrots. The carrots were actual carrots. It was kind of cool planting those and it made it really easy. I drilled my hole really deep and then I just kind of slid my, let my little carrot down in there. And so we're going to see. I'm hoping that we figure something really neat out right here and that we actually end up with the best harvest ever. We're going to see. I don't think it's going to be hard to prove because they love the cold. And if you know anything about spinach and lettuce, the colder it is, the sweeter the lettuce and the spinach is. <laughs> and let's not forget, Drew put in all the onions. We're really hard to see. 10-15s is what we planted on the onions. Got a, quite a few of them in. You never realize when you plant four per thing, how you just, we got a lot of onions. We got those, and we got, I believe it's the red onion. Red onion? No special name out of this, but red onion. <laughs> I don't know what the name is. Oh, wait, I remember. It's red creole. <laughs> it's so cold, I have to double up. It is cold. At least it makes me feel like a nurse again. Doubling up. Well, it's, it's cold for us. <laughs> Absolutely. 
So today I am out here putting together the tomatoes that have need to be transplanted. But it's too early for them to go in the ground, so we're going to be taking these, which are seedlings. These are planted on December 31st, and so this is how tall they are. And we're taking those and putting them in the four inches so that we can they can get a. I was like, what the heck? We're going to take these out of the cells and we're going to divide them. There's there's about two in each hole and we will take those and divide them up and make um, four inches out of them to give them some more time. If they get where I think that they need to be transplanted again, we'll, we'll be going to the one gallons. But we should have a greenhouse by then, Drew. This morning, I'm starting the big load, as we call it here on the farm. The big load is our cucumbers, our squash, everything else that we haven't done, from herbs to flowers to everything. We're going to start a lot of flats this weekend, but I gotta get a list going. I gotta get everything so we don't miss a beat and we know exactly what we're putting in. We have some that we started in December out there that is already trained and ready to go into the ground. Just waiting for the temperatures to get ready. We have trainers outside also as well. So we are on it. Everything's moving along quickly, ready for spring, but life has shown me to take my time and enjoy every bit of it. So I'm in no hurry. I have a lot of work today, including consolidating plants that didn't make it or the trays half full of ones that halfway made it. Make sure that we don't have too many flats going in and out because it's hard to get them in and out every morning I'm trying to get them ready to be into the ground i have some plants also up in the field um, they were some perennials that i put in that i need to go get up and get into one gallons and get them ready to to either come down here and be in our yard or be ready to sell at the farmer's market i will be finishing up the list so I'm on it and I will show you all the trainers that we have and all the stuff that's outside. We also have some stuff planted. We have our onions planted and carrots and spinach out in the ground as well as sweet peas. And they all look great. So let me show you what we have going on outside here. These are the grasses that we're growing. There's feather top and green drops. So I'm excited to see these. I haven't grown these before. This is, I don't know why there's a tag that says spinach because it is not spinach. These are grasses as well. This is frosted explosion grass that we're growing here. These are my peach trees. I actually germinated these from peaches bought at the store. And how I germinated my peaches was I took the, the seeds from the store and then I cracked them open, got the seed out, and I put them in the refrigerator for three months. And I took them out, put them in, um, put them in a wet paper towel in a bag in a warm spot they sprouted, I stuck them in soil, and they germinated. So, very excited about that, and I'm gonna do more next year. I didn't get the greatest germination rate. I planted eight and got three, but I'll take it. It was free seeds. I call it free seeds, but I did pay for the peach. These are our tomatoes. This looks like the new variety. I've lost the tag, but I can tell usually what they are and I will see. These are snaps that look terrible. I'm not even sure what happened to these. These snaps just did not turn out well, so, but that's okay because I have others. On this paste, very good. This is my eulipticus. 
these are the ones that are trained all these guys there's holes missing in the, sh the onions because they're put in this is cilantro just extra seed we had that we just kind of threw in here to see what would happen and they made it so these are the new trainers so these are all my cosmos all kinds of flowers baby's breath everything being trained this morning thanks for joining us today hope you learned something and we'll see you next time here on the farm